here is what it looks like with having the adapters and everything for uh, SRT4 injectors. So as you can see, there's a top hat adapter and then a plug adapter. So I think this is EV6, EV1, and then this is the change, the one, the height, and then the size of the O-ring up here. And so this is how you can fit the SRT4 injectors in there, which you can find these at the junkyard easily, of course. Every PTGT should have one. It's like 2004 and up. So readily available, and they're about 55 pounds or 550, 550 cc. So cheap um, pocket item if you need an upgrade. And much newer. You know, there's, they're not, in some cases, 20 years newer than the ones you would find in the old style stuff. So theoretically, they should work better and last even longer than what's already in the car. So let's go ahead and get the fuel rail pulled out of that pop these bad boys in it and then we'll get to the tuning part all right and here is the injectors installed i would highly recommend putting new o-rings on them since they are almost 20 years old so <laughs> as you can see it's got a nice tight fit and let's get to the tuning part okay so here we are in mp tune you're going to go ahead and load up your tune in here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to scale the injectors because um, these are about 55, 57 pounds-ish or 570 cc's, 550 cc's or so. So we're going to click 55 pounds and that's going to automatically scale all of your fuel tables. And then from here we'll go to fuel, running, fuel battery offset. And this is to adjust the voltages uh, basically, the lower the voltage, the longer the injectors to stay open to get the correct amount of fuel. So we want to adjust this table. And on the screen here, I have the injector data that's needed for the SRT4 injectors. I'll put these in the description. You'll see that there is six points of data. And what we'll need to do is add two more points over here. And so we're going to go ahead and add these two. And right now we're, there's a bottom of a 5 volt, 8 volt, and there's also a 12 and a 15. So I'm going to readjust these by adding the an appropriate amount of points. So between 8 and 12, we'll go ahead and add a 10, even though you know it doesn't even go that low. And then we'll add another one after 12 to 13-ish. And so go ahead and hit insert. And we're going to make this the new second point and then we're going to hit insert again and we're going to add a new fourth point and this is where it gets kind of annoying you have to sit here and move these values so we're like back and forth with the x and y axis so we're going to start off with let's go to the very furthest one which is 15.8 volts right now and we'll look at the table. So at 15 volts, we want 0.48 microseconds. So let's change that to as close to 15 as possible. So I'm going to move it across the x-axis. Okay, 14.993. That's pretty dang close. And let's move that down. Let's see here. We want to get it to 0.48. So just about there. And now we'll go to the 14 volt, 13 volt, 12 volt, and 11 volt, 10 volt. So hang tight and uh, we'll get this done. Now this is all scaled and I apologize on the first one I accidentally put it way too far down it, it'll actually be at the a little higher up on the y-axis at the 0.46 or so and so now we're going to go ahead and save this table good to go there and the last thing we'll want to do is disable the check engine light for the injectors and the idea behind that is the injectors that you put in are 
high impedance injectors, unlike the factory ones, which are low impedance. So they have a higher resistance. And the car will check, the computer will check to see if the injectors are misbehaving by effectively seeing the resistance of the injector. And so obviously it's much, much higher now, like 15 times higher. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that off under the cali calibration configuration. And then under power loss light mask two, we will go ahead and uncheck injector fault. And then we'll save this. And you should be good to go. So all I gotta do is flash the car and be on your way. And I'll cut to some video of the car running on the new injectors. All right, here we go. I apologize for how loud this is gonna be. It is a three inch straight pipe right off the turbo. Feel real primed a little bit. And let's give her a go. pretty good and that's how you effectively throw some free injectors that are much bigger and much nicer much newer into your old style Dodge and uh, if you guys have any comments let me know if you have any ideas that or if I made a mistake just let me know in the comments uh, I'd rather learn the right thing than tell you the wrong thing but as far as I'm aware this is the way to do it or at least how I've done it and it seems to work out fine and so uh, Hope your projects get done in an hour a day makes the project go away. Mm -hmm.